Jonathan Ray's been able to make, make himself into a position to make a move into Tamburello twice now. Is he going to try and get down the inside into Toza? He's in the inside. Jonathan Ray takes the lead of the race back through. Oh, nearly contact between the two as Davies slices it back up the inside on the exit. Chaz Davies has track position. He holds on to the lead of the race. Trying to get down underneath Chaz Davis into the Variante Alte. Good stuff from Jonathan Ray, then he takes the lead away from Chaz Davies, smooth as you'd like, and that's where Davies has been very strong all weekend. Win number 59 and an equal of the record for Jonathan Ray. He comes over the timing line and takes victory in race two. Ray on top here on Imola. The last lap of the Pirelli Aragon round. Johnny Ray right on the back of Davies now. Up the inside, it is neck and neck. The number one slides through on the number seven. Davies trying to make it go around the outside. Can't quite do it. Only four corners left. Three corners left now. It's all about the run on the straight. Jonathan Ray goes to the inside line, tries to make Davies stand up. They almost touch. Oh, big moment there for Jonathan Ray, but he's still right in the slip stream. Can he do it? No, it looks like Chaz Davies has managed to break Jonathan Ray. Take a bow, sir. You've ended the reign of Jonathan Ray. One lap to go for Chaz Davies. Point zero behind for Jonathan Ray. Here we go. The last lap of an incredible Phillip Island weekend. Jonathan Ray slams through into lead. Michael Landry can't quite do it. Sits in fourth, but he's well within touching distance. It is Jonathan Ray, the number one, in the number one spot. Around turn 11, there's only one corner left. Will Davies try to set up the slipstream, or is Davies going to be forced to settle for a second again? What will happen? Here we go, onto the garden of straight. For the last time, the Ducati Davies weaves. We're chasing it to the line. He tries to the slipstream, but no! It looks like Jonathan Ray does do the double ahead of Chaz Davies, who takes second. We enter the final lap in Sepang. Can Jonathan Ray do it? If he wins this race, he's the champion. Jonathan is pushing really hard here. He has to be a little careful. He'll just want to be in with a chance of having a shot down into the final turn. He gets into the slipstream, and just when Chaz didn't want it, here he comes. Jonathan Ray pulls alongside Chaz Davis. This is for the championship in 2015. He's going to go hot into the heaven again. He'll try and duck back underneath. That's oh, gonna touch. they Thank touch. God. They do touch. And Chaz Davis here, and Jonathan will race to the line. Who will get it? It's going to be close. It's going to be Chaz, who just takes it. And Jonathan will have to wait another day. It's last chance saloon. They come around turn 17 and onto the start finish straight to start their final lap. His major chance here is he's going to have to get a really superb line through here. Turns 14 and 15 so that he can get into the slipstream. Here he back comes. To oh, and he's made the move on Jonathan Ray and now they're side by side down the back straight. Here we go then. Chaz will surely have a look into the final turn. Here he comes. He makes the move, but will he run wide? Chaz Davis looking for the first win for Ducati, but here comes Jonathan Ray again. It's a race to the line. Who will get it? It's going to be Jonathan Ray who takes race one here in Aragon, number 65. But what an effort from Chaz Davis, and you can't fault him there for at least giving that a proper go.